So in this video, I want to talk about Dan Marchi from an anime and light novel perspective. Now, before you stress out, no, I am not going to be talking about spoilers. I'm simply going to be talking about where I think the story is going to end in the sense of who wins. Because no, we don't know who's going to win. Well, we do and we don't. What I mean by that is it's very obvious who's going to win. It's writing on the wall. It's been prophesized. It's, it's so obvious. But the reality is, is that there are some issues with the light novel series and the anime. And that is, it gives you this false sense of reality that some others are going to win when they're not going to win. Now, unless the series goes down the harem route, which I just don't think it will, based on Bell's personality, and unless somehow he gets persuaded to go down the harem route, there needs to be something convincing to make him change as a person to acknowledge that. Because people say, oh, but the grandfather said this. Yes, well, the grandfather in puts into his head, but he has stated multiple times he is only interested in one girl, and that is eyes. I mean, for God's sake, in the anime already, in the newest season, he has a girl that's drop-dead gorgeous say that they want to go on a date with him, and that he's like, oh, well, I'm kind of into another girl. Clearly, he has eyes for one person, and that is eyes. Get it? Eyes on eyes. Ha ha, I'm funny. Not. But that's the thing. He's clearly only interested in one girl. Would it be great that it turned into a harem? Yes, as long as Hestia doesn't win. Why? Because Hestia annoys me. <laughs> From the light novel reader, the anime massively gushes up Hestia. Like, they really gas her up a lot more. And also just the fact that she keeps C-blocking Belle every chance she gets. And plus the fact that she's a goddess. I just don't think they work very well as a chemistry thing. And plus her feelings towards Belle are very different than how Belle would see another woman that he sees as, like, eyes, their, their relationship, I mean, like, that's proper romance. Hestia is more like a motherly overprotectiveness. She's not really wanting to get it on and have some kids and, you know, breed and be that intimate on that scale. She's just a very clingy, doty mother kind of thing that wants to see block every other girl, which, yeah, that's what I mean. And that's the other part is, like, I don't really want Belle to like hook up with all the girls including Hestia and it just turned into Hestia just blocking all the other girls from getting too close to him while he's actually married to him. That would just annoy me after a while and it does annoy me sometimes in, in the anime and in the light novels. That is my biggest gripe. Hestia does annoy me sometimes. She's hot, she's got massive juggalogs, but she still annoys me. I still like seeing them bounce, but her being the way she is still annoys me. And so, as I've said, Eyes is clearly going to be the winner. Now, a lot of anime-only fans don't like Eyes because, yeah, the anime didn't do a great job at building her up because it spent too much time building on Hestia in the early stages of the story, and the side story light novels haven't really been adapted, and they probably never will be, and even the first season of it never got adapted properly because it was just a glorified recap of the original with some extra stuff on Eyes. So, yeah, a lot of people want either another girl to win or it to turn into a harem, which in theory, I like the idea of a harem as long as Hestia is not the winner, as I stated before. But the story is very clearly going in the direction that Eyes is going to be the winner and the sole winner. And so unless something drastically changes mentally in Belle, I do not see it happening. And you will understand more of that reasoning and why I feel that reasoning as the season goes on. I'm not going to spoil it, but you'll understand as time goes on about how Belle feels about all the other girls. And where he stands on it. And his relationship with Eyes. And their connection. You will see that as time goes on. What frustrates me is how the story continues to try and make it feel like they're going to win when they're not going to win. That's what's frustrating. Because to me, Belle has demonstrated that he only has eyes for one, but they kind of want to pump up all these other girls. And I think, yeah, I think the big issue is even in the light novels, this is also a problem, is that even in the light novels, it doesn't focus on the relationship between Belle and eyes a lot. And I have a feeling they will build that up later on as the story gets close to its end, but I feel like it's kind of be like a little bit too little too late. And unless they spend a large amount of time really emphasizing it, it just frustrates me how that's been built up. But I also think, and this is something else I've talked about, is no matter how the story ends, people are not going to be happy with it. Except maybe the diehard light novel fans. Because I think a lot of anime-only fans are going to be furious at the ending if it ever gets adapted. And I think some fans of different, like, 
you know, waifus are going to be irritated. I'm a massive Freya fan, but even I know I'm going to lose in battle. And I think it's just stupid debating on it. And people go, ooh, this is spoiler. It's not, though, because it's been established from the very beginning who Bell is chasing. Who his end game goal is. And yes, I understand, you know, Zeus and said this and said that. But Zeus is what he wants to see Bell do. And what Bell ends up doing are two completely different things. And like I said, unless something drastically changes in him that decides to go down the harem route, I do not see it ever becoming a harem. I would like it to. Because it would save a lot of arguments at this point. Because they've built up so many other girls. That it would just be nice to just let most of them win. Except Hestia. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a vicious monster. That just wants Hestia to suffer. No, it's just because, like I said. She's just not right for Belle. She's, she's got very different feelings. I think she can just be like that kind of like motherly doting kind of thing. So... This is, this is the thing that's always been like a heavy hot topic in the Darmachi community is who's going to win? And I always get into the crossfire because as I always say, Eyes is going to win. Eyes will always be the winner in all the stories because she's been established. From the very beginning of the story, Belle's entire journey is about chasing Eyes and trying to get to her level, quite literally her level. So that they can fight side by side. And I do believe that the end game is going to be that final quest. And it's going to be them working together. It'll be like sort of like the Marvel Avengers kind of thing. Where they all assemble and they come together as a big group. And they fight the end game boss. And they win. And then they kind of actually start to really realize more of their deeper, deeper feelings. Like they, they know they like each other. But they finally have that big connection. And then they live happily ever after. And they have lots of little kids. And Hestia. And... I, f I forgot it. Loki end up fighting all the time because their two favorites are, are together. Like, that's that's how I see it. And I think that's more fun as well because seeing Loki and Hestia fighting because their two favorites are together and running off together is just hilarious because they'll be constantly chasing them, trying to stop each other, but destiny just forces them together. And I think it's cute and adorable. And I want to see more of that established as the story goes on. But I just feel like there are too many... And this is the thing. I like so many of the other girls. Like the elf girl. I, I like the fox girl. Even some of the Amazon girls. You know. Freya. Sia. I like all of these. I'm deliberately wording things in a certain way to be misleading. Because yeah. Spoilers are, spoilers will, will... The story will come out later on. And you'll understand a little bit more of the context of what I'm going into. But... I just feel like it's one of those where we have to put our expectations on a realistic level of who is going to win and not get your hopes up. Because I think as anime only fans, you're going to get your hopes up and then you're going to be shattered. And it's not a matter of a spoiler, it's just knowing where the end game is going to go. Because Bell is always going to be wishy-washy about it until someone slaps him across the head and goes, boy, start dealing with your emotions better. And I think that's where the story needs to go. And I think that's just an issue that the writer has bogged themselves into. There's a couple of issues with the light novel series that I find that I've pointed out many, many, many years ago, and many, many, many volumes ago, and I got so much hate for it. And then as more volumes came out and as time went out, people started coming to my side of it and going, oh, yeah, you kind of actually make a valid point. It's like, yeah, because I could see the writing on the wall. It's also like the power creep issue with Belle. That's a whole different video as well that I could go into is where Belle is getting too powerful too quickly and the others are falling behind that's a whole different issue as well as far as the storytelling component goes so i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below keep it civil because i know waifu wars and shipping wars can get very toxic and again i want you to win in your ship but i'm just being honest about where the ship is going to sail there's a difference between where i want to go and where we're going Okay, so understand that before you get angry at me, because what I'm trying to explain is, yes, that's the direction we're going. We're going to that place and you're going, but I want to go there. And I'm like, yes, I understand that. I want to go there as well, but we're not going there. That's the direction that it's going. We just have to suck it up. And I'm trying to point it out while everyone's got blindfolds going, la, 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 la. well, you're just in for a rude awakening. So again, love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next angry rant or next video.